Trump would have just 10 minutes to decide what to do if North Korea fired a nuclear missile at the U.S. homeland. That is the latest report. Are we ready? What in the world would we do with just 10 minutes time that a nuclear missile would arrive from North Korea to the mainland? God forbid. The report says Donald Trump would just have 10 minutes to decide what to do if North Korea fired a missile at the U.S. mainland, according to experts. Although Kim Jong-un's arsenal was some way off being able to travel the 5,500 miles needed. I wouldn't underestimate that, folks. To reach the U.S., yesterday it was revealed the nation's nuclear program is developing much faster, which we actually have reports on, than previously anticipated. A test launch on Sunday would have reached 2,500 miles if it fired ahead. The timeline is short. Even for long-range missiles, there are a lot of steps that could go into detecting the launch and figuring out what it is, leaving the president with maybe 10 minutes to decide whether to launch a retaliatory strike. North Korea's latest missile test marks a significant step towards Kim Jong-un's regime, producing an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of hitting the United States homeland. Uh, experts have warned the dictator's defense ministry fired a missile named Kwasan-12 on Sunday night on Mother's Day. They don't even celebrate Mother's Day in North Korea. They're too busy trying to do their own Moab, their own mother of all bombs, which is what they're working on, their ICBMs. The test represents a level of performance never before seen from a North Korean missile. This is according to John Schilling, an aerospace expert. Said uh, he he said this in an um, excuse me he said this in an analysis on the U.S. based 38 North website. Sunday's missile was deliberately fired at the highest angle to avoid affecting neighboring countries' security, but had been launched at a standard trajectory. It would have reached at least 2,500 miles, which is 4,000 kilometers, almost half of the 5,500 mile required to re reach the actual U.S. mainland. South Korean Defense Minister Han Min Ko told Parliament Sunday's test launch was successful in flight. Didn't hear too much about that in the mainstream media. Asked if North Korea's missile program was developing faster than the South had expected. The answer? A proclaiming yes. New York and Washington are less than 6,800 miles away from North Korea. That translates to about 30 minutes, according to Schiller, or anywhere from 38 to 39 minutes by Wright's estimates. The United States relies in large part on its ground-based missile defense system, with bases in Vandenberg Air Base in California and Fort Greeley, Alaska, to intercept any type of incoming missile, but also they have on hand an anti-missile defense system known as GMD and the one that we all well know the THAAD system at its disposal. But critics have pointed out that the GMD, which has cost the U.S. $40 billion, has six out of its nine test intercepts fail between 2002 and 2016. Probably not the news we want to hear in light of the continued missile test and war, world, world War III rhetoric that's coming in from North Korea. Anyway, they claim the strategy has no credible plan for defeating countermeasures such as decoys. In its current form, this is according to the Union of Concerned Scientists. They wrote this in a report that was published last year. In its current form, as far as our GMD anti-ballistic missile system here in the U.S., the strategic missile defense is a waste of resources, they said, at best, and dangerous at worst. <laughs> Thanks for the that could harm the U.S. public, unquote. Wow. Right into detecting the launch and figuring out what it is, leaving the president with maybe 10 minutes to decide whether to launch a retaliatory strike or not. And if the president decided not to strike back, he said, land-based ICBMs could be in the air within five minutes and submarine-based missiles in 15 minutes. To be classified as an ICBM, which is an intercontinental ballistic missile, the missiles must have a minimum range of 5,500 kilometers, which is 3,400 miles. I mean, they're, they're working pretty close. They're working pretty fast, right? North Korea. They tested one that reached 2,500. They need to reach 34 in order for it to be legitimately an ICBM. North Korea does not, at this time, have such a missile. 
they claim. I don't know about that. Again, I'm not taking. Um, I, I don't. I. I don't doubt it. I, they. They could. It, uh, anyway, but that's my analysis. That, that's my perspective. They clearly have miniaturized nuclear-sized weapons capable of uh, an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse here in the U.S. So they have nuclear capability, make no mistake about it. We don't want them to have the ICBM capability. That would just be a large, a larger scale EMP. But they definitely have, uh, you, know, you know, cause for concern right now with what they do have that has been tested and that successfully. Anyway, North Korea, uh, what, uh, excuse me, Schiller of the ST a Analytics at which is an independent space technology and rocketry consulting company based in Germany, explained the time it takes for an ICBM to cover its first 5,500 kilometers is usually a little bit more than 20 minutes. If you fire at something which is 6,200 miles away, it, uh, he says it will still reach its target in less than 30 minutes. So while Wright suggests 30 to 34 minutes to San Francisco, Schiller predicts a faster trip to the West Coast saying a, a, a missile from North Korea could hit Seattle, which is 5,000 miles away, and Los Angeles, which is 5,600 miles away, in under 30 minutes from launch. Did you say lunch? No, I said launch. Launch. This is, that, that's not enough time. Are you even saved? We're talking about North Korea. We're giving you a quick update concerning North Korea. In light of all the news about Trump and, and, and impeachments, and coups, and oh, you know, coo, coochie, coochie, all this nonsense coming against, you know, Donald Trump is, is going through what he's going through, this, some call witch hunt, some call serious, uh, you know, um, you know, serious things that he st did concerning the leak, uh, you know, with some, some sensitive information to Russian, uh, you know, the foreign ministry of Russia, Sergei Lavrov, and now it's all over the place, everybody knows it, this is what, what's going to happen, that's what's going on, the update concerning North Korea, all this that I'm sharing with you, anyway, let me give you a little bit more, with a looming threat of a strike and with hostilities rising, Seoul is not, is still the most vulnerable potential target, don't forget North, uh, South Korea, folks, South Korea would probably be the first to get hit, and they know it. They're concerned. They're on top of it. They're already training their people uh, to wear a gas mask, where the closest bonkers are at, lest you go bonkers during the time. It's crazy stuff. It, it, it continues. Well before North Korea had a nuclear program, it realized it could hold the 10 million people at the South Korean capital hostage with the threat of a massive conventional artillery strike. If it were to launch such a strike, the first wave of shells from its dug-in gun batteries concentrated just north of the demilitarized zone could land without any warning. South Korea has Patriot missile defense batteries, but they are intended to protect against short-range Scud missiles. They would not help, however, against an artillery attack. The much-talked-about state-of-the-art THAAD system, missile defense system that we here at the U.S. have, is currently deployed in South Korea. There are many South Koreans that were against this. They protested in the South Korean uh, in, in the streets of South Korea, uh, but uh, it's there, according to the U.S., for their defense in light of what's going on. The threats coming in from North Korea. Now, the ones who really don't like this bad missile defense system is China. We reported to you about a week and a half ago that they um, that there was some kind of um, possible cyber attack against our bad missile system from the makers of it that they were attacking China, some Chinese were actually attacking the makers of our, of our defense system. Why? To find out how to um, disconnect it, you know, have it to stop working, get the schematics so that they can make their own. What's that all about, China? Leave us alone. We're just trying to protect the South Koreans in case of another Korean war. God forbid. Uh, anyway, it says here, the much-talked-about state-of-the-art THAAD missile defense system deployed in South Korea this month also cannot protect Seoul from either artillery or incoming missiles. It isn't designed to do that from its current site. And now to make things uglier, the North could hit the South with chemical or biological warheads. This has not just been the concern with South Korea, by the way. Japan. Japan's own prime minister has also stated, what's his name, Ben Chazo? 
I got that wrong, please forgive me, but my, my Japanese friends. The Prime Minister of Japan was very concerned that um, North Korea could put serene gas on the nuclear warhead tips, on the tips of the miniature missiles that they have and launch it. Now they're preparing their people. And now you got Hawaii preparing their people here uh, in, in, in the States. This is what's happening outside of the Trump news. One nuclear scenario that has been raised is an attack on the city of Busan, a major port sometimes used by the U.S. Navy themselves. That's an option, Pyongyang, which is North Korea, the capital, might consider if it believed it was under immediate threat of attack and wanted to make a show of overwhelming force to keep Washington from committing further attacks. It would take just six minutes to strike Seoul in this way from North Korea. Oh, my friends, my friends, my friends. Okay, again, latest report concerning North Korea. Donald Trump, and really the U.S. as a whole, would have just 10 minutes to prepare for a nuclear missile aimed at U.S. homeland from North Korea in light of recent reports after the successful test launch. Did you know that it was successful, by the way? North Korea launched another missile that the trajectory was much farther than it's been in the past, 2,500 miles. Successful test, didn't blow up, didn't disintegrate, wasn't targeted by the U.S. And now people are worried. You got experts saying, wait a minute, this is a, this is a concern. They've actually done more work than we realize. Well, yeah, that's what we've been talking about here at Open Your Eyes People. And they, they haven't made it a secret. Who's been supplying North Korea with all of this? How can they afford it? They, they have sanctions. Uh, and with sanctions, they have sanctions on top of sanctions. They have no money. They're feeding the uncles to the dogs. I mean, where are they getting the money for this? Well, who are their allies? Who who are they? You know, uh, you know what nations are are, are they? Uh, you know, that they have a, a a good rapport with? If you hear that sound, it's on my end. Well, Iran is one of them. China is another. Russia, make no mistake, Russia. Oh, you know. You, you, you know, you could say, well, Iran, Russia, China, they have no, um, no, no business in North Korea. Why would they even attempt to help them build a nuclear arsenal, uh, help them with their nuclear dreams? Well, they have one thing in common. That's a hegemonic mindset towards the United States, towards Western uh, states, towards NATO nations. So uh, they don't want the U.S. to come in and make it more westernized. They don't want the U.S. to come in and take over. It's all about territory. It's a big game of risk. I don't want any part of. Listen, listen, I, I don't, this isn't a game though. This is real stuff that's happening. Trump would have just 10 minutes to decide what to do if North Korea fired a nuclear missile at the U.S. mainland. Are you saved? You may say, oh, well, at least I'll have 10 minutes to get saved. If they give me just 10 minutes, Lord, I appreciate it. I'll have 10 minutes to get saved. Until then, I'll just live like the devil. People think that. This, they think, helps them, that they'll have 10-minute alert. No, <laughs> don't be fooled. You won't be able to think. If you're not saved and you get a 10-minute alert, you get an alert that tells you that there's a nuclear missile on the way. Uh, I'll give you an idea of what that alert would sound like, okay? If a nuclear missile was on the way, this is what it would sound like. Check this out. Tell me how you would think in the midst of this. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Office of Civil Defense. At 3.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, NORAD detected a long-range nuclear missile launch in North Korea. This missile is believed to be headed in the direction of the Los Angeles metropolitan area. It is believed that it will impact this area within the next one and one half to two hours. All residents within a 400-mile radius of this area should seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a product of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure to fallout will result in certain death. Fallout spreads across large areas approximately one minute after impact. 
If you cannot find a fallout shelter in your area, local authorities will lead you to one. Take a battery-powered radio and all essential supplies with you to the fallout shelter. Tune to 770 AM on your radio for emergency information while in the fallout shelter. Sheltering in place is not advised, as your survival cannot be ensured in that scenario. President Obama will be speaking on all television and radio stations shortly. All wrong. television and radio stations in the United States will now cease their regular programming to carry this special message from the President and to report on the news of this incident. No, thank you. No, you... Th okay, that said President Obama obviously will be Donald Trump, but in this case... Having just 10 minutes to decide what to do if a North Korea fired a, North, uh, a nuclear missile at the U.S. mainland, according to experts, they're saying that the weapons of North Korea are developing faster than anticipated. Oh, I have 10 minutes to be saved. I have 10 minutes to just get my life right with God. You won't have 10 minutes. During that time, if you're not saved, you're going to probably be panicking, and you're, you're not going to think straight. And you're going to try to gather your kids. You're going to find out where everybody's at. You're going to get your food, your water. You're probably going to go do something crazy, like try to go to the grocery store. You're not going to even think about your eternity. You need to get saved now. I'm telling you, folks, this is the hour in which we're living in. It's a distress of nations. It was promised in the Bible. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, Jesus said, that there will be a distress of nations with perplexity. This is what's happening. He says in Matthew chapter 24 that there will be wars and rumors of wars. Kingdom rising up against kingdoms. Nations rising up against nations. This is what's happening. And we know that uh, these are not, uh, you, know, we, we, you know, we've seen rumors, but not every war has been a rumor. You, you, we, we've seen the Vietnam War. We've seen Operation Desert Storm. We, we, we know, uh, you know, the Korean War, you know, World War I. World War... So wars have happened. And these, uh, you know, the current times which we're living in shows that a war can absolutely break out, even by accident. Even by accident. Listen, this is with North Korea, South Korea, North Korea, the U.S., Russia, the U.S., China, the U.S. It's just so tender right now. And you... And I, we have to make sure that our lives are right with the Lord. You have to get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Just say, Jesus, save me. Just surrender your life to him right now. You need to do it. I, I got to end the broadcast. Just say, Jesus, save me. Save my soul. Save my spirit. Save my life. Listen, you may not, you don't want to play with this, folks. Don't play with this. This is your eternity we're talking about. The Lord loves you. He loves you very much. Stuff is happening. There's no question about it. How are you going to be prepared for everything else but not your eternal salvation? You're going to put an investment in everything else and not in the most important thing, which is your soul. Give your lives to Christ. The day of the Lord is at hand. You want to get more information, log on to our website. www.openyoureyespeople.com www.openyoureyespeople.com There's no weird spelling. There's nothing funky. It's, it's, it's spelled out the way it sounds. Openyoureyespeople.com Click on the link that says Lamb's Book of Life. Give your lives to Christ. The day of the Lord is at hand. If you want to email me, I can help pray with you. I'll help you pray. Sometimes you don't know what to say to the Lord. How do I get saved? How do I give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Listen, folks, it's simple. It's simple. Just surrender your entire life to Jesus. Tell him you surrender your life to him. Tell him that you sinned. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him to please put your name in his book. Tell him that you're repenting. Tell him. Talk to him. And if you want to email me, I'll help you pray. Anita at emoaf.org, A-N-I-T-A at E-M-O-A-F dot O-R-G. God bless you.